dip, 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 dip. Uh, you know, a while back was my birthday and I didn't get nothing. I knew I was not going to get nothing leading up to it. Pretty well saw the writing on the wall and uh, ordered myself a guitar from musiciansfriend.com, a warehouse music supply store. And uh, that was way back on May 5th. And uh, the thing said, you know, out of stock right now. Should be in stock by May 11th, day before my birthday. I thought, oh, okay. Well, it keeps on getting pushed back and back. And then yesterday, it's like, oh, June 21st. I'm like, great. You know, and I'm like, uh, I tell you what, don't give me the blue one. Give me the black one. Like, no, no, we can't do that. You would have to uh, cancel your order and start over again. Here in the electronic age, they pull shit like that. Uh, which, uh, it'd be okay if they would credit PayPal. And PayPal wouldn't have such a delay in freeing up my credit again. But, you know, that's just not how it works. PayPal likes to uh, screw around with you and make you wait 8 to 14 days. Then they'll open, open the credit line back up. They've already took the money away from musician friend, but they make you wait. So anyway, I didn't do that. Anyway, get this morning, got an email, said, oh, your guitar's on the way. I'm like, how could this be? You know, I went to musician's friend right here. And there it is, the guitar. I don't think you can see it over there. It still says, ships by June 21st. June 21st. I doubt that shows up. Anyway, you know what this means? I'm getting a return to guitar. That's all there is to it. They're sending me a return. Bam! Damn. Well, anyway, I hope it's it's not a return that something was really bad wrong with it. I don't care about blemish in the finish. I uh, hope it's more like a situation like a maybe a kid stole his parents' credit card, made an account, got a guitar. Guitar shows up, the parents are like, what's this? And the kid's like, I don't know, I guess I want a guitar. <laughs> you know, they get their bill. <coughs> Hopefully something like that. Or maybe a, a woman bought her husband or boyfriend this guitar and he's picky and you know, he looked at it. I, I don't want no damn made in China $399 guitar. Send that back. I only play with $3,800 guitars. Hopefully it's a situation like that. Hopefully I don't get a guitar with a neck that's just doing like this. Frets popping up out of the fretboard. I hope because it'll be here pretty quick because the warehouse is in uh, Chicago and uh, and also the gigantic UPS facility is up there in a suburb of Chicago and it's just got a boom boom down Highway 50 Interstate 57 to me I've gotten stuff from them before where they say five to six days it's here in 27 hours. <laughs> so anyway, I got a guitar on the way, and I wish me luck. I hope it's not a bad one. Oh, I guess that's all I got to say. I saw another purple bunting. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, update. The Fender Modern Player Marauder guitar arrived. That's it right there. Except I've already taken off its neck that had the rosewood fretboard. And I put it on that guitar. <laughs> I like to switcheroo things up. You can do that with Fender necks. 
that I like to look at that and I also like to look at that and there's another one of my birthday presents I got for myself I got this pick guard I'm gonna put on this one that's reloaded with a 72 tone pickup selector switch I bought that DiMarzio humbucker and the thing is, though, I'm going to have to go out in the garage and start butchering on, on this guitar to make room for that other, that new pickup. But anyway, I had me a birthday. Da, 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 da. And I abused this guitar, took its neck off, put it on that one. It's just the way I roll, people. Yeah. We're okay, so I've taken the three inch drill uh, wood rasp circular bit to the Stratocaster here and uh, had to make room for that area. Single coil, single coil. Used to be a single coil, now putting a double coil humbucker used to be a little place like this and as you can see I've uh, went through the guitar body and I'm exposing the uh, the springs to the uh, whatever you want to call it whammy bar trimbo the thing where you go like you know but uh, I've exposed the back cavity so I'm gonna have to take that off and clean it all out too now. But things are looking good. I'm gonna blow this thing off. Yeah, getting set for it. An awesome guitar. Yes, sir. -y. It shall be awesome. A lot of sawdust on it right now. But who gives a darn? I don't. Ta -da. See, it's okay, all cleaned up. Got that area all drilled out. Now there's room for that. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm a business. Mmm. And, hey, hey, you know, I mean, not to worry. The brand new Marauder guitar, it loves this 35-year-old Stratocaster neck. Now I gotta get online and figure out how to get that pick guard going with the Stratocaster. That's going to be fine. But the Marauder is okay. It's okay. I didn't butcher it. I didn't tear it up. Had to shin the neck a little bit because the neck socket was a little bit different on this 2012 Marauder than it was on this probably like 1973 Strat. Okay. Had me a birthday and I feel good.